So how do you go about investing for your children? It's something that our clients ask us quite regularly, and the answer is slightly dependent on your own circumstances. But hopefully, I'll be able to make things a little bit clearer by giving you an overview of some of the most common options. First is, of course, a children's easy access saving account. To be honest, I feel the same way about these as I do about any savings account. Ultimately, the cash is going to fall in value due to inflation, so it's a pretty poor long-term option. But if you are saving for something in the near term, the flexibility of them can be great. Next up, we've got premium bonds. They certainly have their place, but they're probably slightly less attractive than most people believe. 70% of people holding up to £1,000 in premium bonds will win absolutely nothing. And those who have £10,000 in premium bonds, on average, win the equivalent of a 0.75% annual return. It's perhaps a little better than some of the savings rates out there, but again, you will probably lose money to inflation over the longer term. I do quite like one element about them though, as the interest is referred to as a prize fund, and you have a chance to win a million pounds. Now it's important to highlight that you actually have better odds of winning the Euro millions, so it's incredibly unlikely, but it can be a really fun way to get children engaged with money. So perhaps not the best financial bet, but maybe a useful one from an educational perspective. Then you have a child's pension. You can invest in pretty much any fund in these, so you will have a chance at outpacing inflation and you'll get 20% in tax relief on contributions. So if you contribute the maximum of £2,880 into your child's pension, you'll get another £720 in tax relief, turning it rather magically into £3,600. The money also can't be spent until the child reaches retirement age, so they definitely can't blow it. But this is really where a child's pension falls down. Almost without fail, your child would probably benefit the most from using this money to help with a deposit on a house. You might find yourself in a position where you want to help them with this, but you can't get at the money. Your child also might become a reasonably high earner in the future, and you could be unintentionally causing them a future lifetime allowance issue. So do really tread with care here. The most common option is probably a junior ISA or JISA. This essentially acts in pretty much the same way as any other stocks and shares ISA. You can again invest in pretty much anything, so you might outpace inflation, but no tax relief on these and you are limited to £9,000 a year in contributions. It's completely tax free once it's in there though, and your child can't get their hands on it until they're 18. Once they've reached that age, they can then access it as they wish for something like a house. Although for some parents, 18 still might be a little bit earlier than you're comfortable with. So really, I'd only be looking at any of these options if you're already maxing out your own ISA allowances on top of your pension contributions and making use of your annual capital gains tax allowances as well. Otherwise, you might just be better to invest the money yourself and give it to the kids when you want to. Because remember, your money really does matter.